Hello, and welcome to Your Sparkly Brand. We're here to inspire and empower entrepreneurs like you. This podcast is all about delivering no fluff, high value content that helps you grow your business. It doesn't matter if you have no budget and are still DIYing everything on your own. We're giving you the tips, tools, and strategies you need to build a sparkly empire. I'm Lauren Tassi, a copywriter and launch strategist, and I'm here with my co-host, the design and brand expert, Megan Gersh. Hi, Megan. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Doing well. Thanks for asking. Awesome. What was your sparkly moment this week? So I'm working on a website project right now for a shapewear client. And the thing I really like about her business is that she's really about like women empowerment. Like there's so many women in her comment sections that just like say like, I feel so seen by your content. And like, you know, like she is really authentic. But anyway, I was working on the website design this past week. And there's always like a point in design where it's like the kind of messy stage, but then like things start to kind of come together and things start to click. And so I... I just entered like that kind of like clicky, amazing kind of feeling when things started to work kind of stage in design. And I'm just really excited about how it's turning out. So I'm excited for her to see it a little bit later this week. Ooh, awesome. We should talk about shapewear after the call because I have a big shapewear client as well. Awesome. Yeah. So we will talk offline. Sorry, listeners. Let's see. What was my sparkly moment this week? You know what? I decided sort of last minute to take a trip out of town this weekend. I'm taking Friday, Monday off. I mean, off is maybe not quite, but you know, I'll be doing some work from my phone in the car, just sort of last minute. And again, the sparkliness is that I have my own business and it's literally just like me going, okay, great. Blocking out my calendar. I'm going to go. There's no asking my boss. No, you know, putting in requests for PTO. I just go. So that makes me feel great. I love that. I think you're going to have a great time. Yeah, I hope so. So let's get into our topic for this week, which is we are talking about how to create a valuable freebie. And I use the word lead magnet a lot, which is the same thing I've heard people use the term free gift, which I think can be a little confusing, but are there any other synonyms we should just cover off the bat that come to mind for you? So one of my coaches calls is a pink spoon, which is like kind of like one of those like pink spoons that you get at like the ice cream store. So uh-huh. it's like a little free sample. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay. So lead magnet or freebie are probably the most common. And to me, they're interchangeable. They mean the same thing. I tend to use lead magnet more. So you might hear that word come out of my mouth, but what it is, is it's a free piece of content that prompts a person to give you their email address. And it's so the whole goal of it is to build your email list and to also build trust with the person that you're that is downloading your freebie or your lead magnet. Email marketing is so much more intimate than social media or anything, any of the other types of marketing, SEO, blah, blah, blah. It gives you the opportunity to really build a relationship because you're showing in their up in their inbox every day, every week, whatever your you know situation is. And once you make that connection, they're more likely to buy from you and then continue to buy from you in the future. So, you know, Meg and I both all the time talk about how email marketing is so important. And this is just sort of one way to really kind of double down on that and build your list. So why do you need a freebie? Because join our email list isn't very effective. I don't, I would love to know the last time I just, well, I join email lists just because I want to see what people are doing in email, but on the consumer end of things, I don't know how effective join our email list is at all these days, even like 20 years ago. I'd love to know how effective it was. So that's why you need one. You need to give them some, you need to, and your freebie or your lead magnet needs to be something desirable. It needs to be something that makes people go, oh yeah, I want that. Oh yeah, I do want to learn eight tips about blah, blah, blah. Or yeah, I would like 25% off. Thank you very much. It shows your audience that you can provide value like straight off the bat, right? You're not just going, hey, please buy from me. Hey, please do this. You're going, why don't you take something first? And then yeah, maybe if you're interested, come on, swing back around and pick something up from us. Yeah, definitely. I think the main thing when you're putting together your freebie, it, you really have to think about like what your target audience really, really wants. So like maybe that is to lose 10 pounds in the next month. Maybe that is to get a discount on your product. Maybe that is, you know, to achieve something in their business. So like, think about what is that main thing that they really want or that they're really struggling with in their business and see if there's a way that you can create kind of like a bite-sized piece of content for them to kind of get a feel for like what you could provide for them as well as like, you know, provide that call to action to them to be like, okay, here's some free content. And also here's a next step on like how we can either work together or here's like a product that could help you a little bit further along with this. Exactly. I was going to give some other examples as well. The way I always think about it when I'm like talking to clients about this is you really want to give an actionable quick win, right? So like say what you do, how you help people overall in the world is you help people start freelance businesses or something like that. That is a lot. That is overwhelming. That takes years. How about how to make your first $500 on Upwork or how to do like these, these are great freebies when it's something definable, actionable, we can get it done in a week.
week and they can see results because once they see results, they go, oh, wow, if that's the free stuff, imagine what the paid stuff is. So other things to think about are like how to solve a problem that they're currently experiencing or what's the first step in your process, right? Like if you're a coach or you're a service provider, what's a way that like the first thing you would do when you worked with them to get them there, to give them a taste of your thing. And then of course, if you're in products, if you sell physical things, a discount, free shipping, that kind of thing goes a long way. There's, I think there's ways to be more creative too. And I always suggest that, but it, you know, 20% off works pretty well most of the time. Yeah. One other thing that I've seen work really well is that like, if you have a course or even like a membership, a lot of people will give like the first module for free. And you can also see like all of the other content that's sitting in there, but it's like locked content. So you can like see everything that's available, but you can only get access to the first one for free. And so I've seen that with a lot of like service providers that works really well as well. It's literally the first step of the process, right? Module one. Yeah, exactly. So you also need to consider how your audience prefers to consume information. So the probably the most common freebie type, I would say is like a PDF or some kind of discount code, right? But it doesn't have to be either one of those items. It could be a video, it could be, you know, some kind of template or something like that. Just get creative with how you might be able to deliver that freebie to your audience and just consider like, you know, what medium you feel most comfortable. You know, if you feel comfortable on video, maybe you should deliver a video video item, but maybe you feel more comfortable writing text. So like, maybe that's a better option for you. It just really depends on you and your audience. Yeah. I'll throw some more ideas out there. A mini course, right? Especially if that's something that you do is, you know, online education, a mini course, right? Bite-size actionable audio downloads. I've seen some cool things with this with like meditations, hypnosis, Hmm. that kind of thing. Printable downloads, right? You know, some sort of flashcards or something that, again, this is super easy for you to create. They get the benefit of printing out and how holding something in their hand. And then this is like a crazy idea these days, but what about something you physically send them, right? If you're in a high ticket business, this could be totally worth it, right? Because like, I just feel like my mind would be blown if like something just like showed up on my doorstep like that. It's one way to really get people's attention. And it would be great for e It could be even like a sample or something, you know, download a sample of our moisturizer, not download it, but you know, give us your email address and we'll send you a sample of our moisturizer. And then the other thing would be like a free consult, some sort of, you know, freebie, again, just like the very beginning of what your services are. Absolutely. And so when it comes to actually creating your freebie, the whole point is just to give as much value as you can. So give that step-by-step process, like break it down for the end audience as much as you can. And don't be afraid to give too much away because ultimately this is a trust building activity. And so when you give this to your audience, this is just like a small taste of what it would be like to work with you. So you want to make a good impression. Yeah. I feel like there's this has gone out of favor, but maybe like 10 years ago, it used to be a lot more about like gatekeeping and like, don't give the good stuff away for free. And I just don't think that's what people do anymore. I don't think that's what encouraged. And I don't think that's what works. So if there's any part of you that kind of is holding on to the idea of like, oh, but I don't want to give too much away. I would, Meg and I are both big believers in give it away because that attracts the right people. Yeah. And the other thing too, is just like everybody, if you're watching this, like you also have access to Google, so you could go elsewhere to find that information, but it's like, maybe you are providing a specific strategy or a specific way that you do things. And like, that's ultimately the secret sauce. Like that's how, you know, that's the thing that differentiates you from other providers. Absolutely. And another way to differentiate yourself and stand out in your market is to incorporate your messaging and your branding and your brand values into whatever sort of free content you're giving away. I'll give the example of myself and my most successful freebie. It's called the Zen AF launch checklist. And it's on my website. If you start Googling launch checklist, checklist, you'll find course launch checklist, you'll find it too. But basically it's for people who are like, Oh, what do I need to do to launch my course? And it's like, there are people who are expecting a checklist. That's like, write this email, then write your sales page, then do this. But instead it's, there's a little bit of that, but it's a lot like take a break, go on vacation, you know, like book a massage during your launch, because that's what I believe in. And I believe that the person who's launching and the person who shows up in front of the camera needs to be their most Zen as fuck self. So that's, I think that's why it's so so successful and why people are drawn to me that really like sort of also embrace those values. I don't know if you want to share, you know, like what, what's your most successful freebie? You know, it's probably a toss up between, I have one that's 150 social media content ideas, which is done really well. I also have a website checklist, which I'm in the process of updating. So I would love to use that tip and kind of integrate some of that. I feel like I, I set those up and towards the beginning of my business. And so it's just like kind of time to kind of update those kinds of things. So the other thing that I want to mention too, 
too, is that once somebody opts in for your freebie, you want to make sure that you drop them into a welcome series in your email platform. So in your welcome series, essentially, this is a series of emails that gets auto delivered to the recipient. Basically, this is a way for them to get to know you a little bit, to get to know your offers a little bit. This is where you kind of introduce those tiny offers. If you have any $7, $47 type products, and it just puts them on your list, kind of gets you in front of them a bit. And it's just like a good way to kind of like warm up that audience. One other thing that I'll mention too about the lead magnets is that it's so important to include clickable links within your, if you're creating a PDF, this is so, so helpful for the person on the other end, just because we've all been there and frustrated when, you know, you've had to like either copy and paste a link or something like that. Again, you just want to make this as easy as possible for that person to access whatever content you are providing. And the last thing that I'll say when you're creating your freebie is that it's so important to include a call to action. So maybe that means, you know, if they, if you want them to contact you, maybe you list your email address, perhaps you could link to a small offer or a podcast episode or another piece of content that you want to push them to as like the next step in that funnel. Think about what that call to action could be in your freebie. And then I would include it on the last page or in text, however you would like. Yeah. You know, I think something that's important to think about too, when you're creating a freebie is your entire funnel, your entire customer journey. And we do have an episode. I don't remember what episode it is, but I'll put a link in the show notes back to the, where we sort of break down sales funnels and how it works. But just thinking big picture helps, will help you narrow in on what makes sense to be a freebie. Okay. So you've done all this work and now you have an amazing freebie, but you've got to get it out there, right? Because it doesn't do any good just sitting, waiting on your website. So one of the ways to do it is to talk about it on social media, right? And direct people to link in your bio to download the free cheat sheet you have or whatever it is. You can use SEO and write a blog post with keywords that your ideal client or customer is searching for. And then the big call to action at the end of the blog post is to download your freebie. You could also run ads to a landing page. If you really have, you know, maybe you're starting from zero or you don't have much of an audience, that's a great way to build your list, right? Because if you have the money to spend and you know what you're doing, it can really, you can really reach the right people quickly with Facebook ads, Instagram ads, whatever, you know, your choice is. Yeah, absolutely. One thing I want to add to that too, is that the platform Stan is really amazing for pushing out those freebies. They make it so easy. You can upload your freebie directly to the platform and it handles all of that auto emailing of the freebie, delivers the freebie for you. And you could also use Zapier to put that person into your welcome sequence. So definitely check that out. We can drop another link to that in the show notes. I know I've talked about that before, but I just love the platform so much. So I had to, had to plug it in there. And that's our episode. So start brainstorming a new valuable freebie if you don't already have one in your business or think about how you can revise one that you already have. And this is going to help you to start be building your email list and ultimately build sales for your business. Thank you so much for listening. And until next time, stay sparkly.